you yo guys titan bolt here and today we are going to be doing another video and so sorry guys i've been gone for such a long time um nearly two months now um my like my phone's been messing up all the time so yeah sorry about that um so today we're going to be doing uh i'm going to show off you guys all of my cubes which i have um I have, to be honest, like, a decent amount of cubes, but, like, nowhere near, like, the, like, massive cubers have, like, JR Cuba, Speedy Cuba, uh, Computer Cuba, so on, so on, Red KB and that. Um, yeah, so, um, first of all, let's start with 2x2. Two two. This is first 2x2 two two which I owned, this is the Cyclone Boys 2x2 two two. and the Neon Bright colour um, yeah this is red but it's showing up pink this is orange and it's showing up like pink as well but yeah um, overall it's not it's not such a bad cube but it's actually Pretty decent, especially for any beginners out there. Yeah, I've lubricated mine. Um, second, so uh, two by two. My last two by two. This is the MF two S. Um, this is my main. It's an it's a beast. Um, the times I get on this, it's absolutely amazing compared to what I get on this. Like. That's such a big difference. It's like, it's like, this is like double the speed of what I get on this. So yeah, it's like it's, it's so loose. I haven't even lubricated this one. It came like, yeah, it definitely did come lubricated. Um, yeah, it's actually really, really nice cube, and it is my main. Yeah. Uh, so the next category I'll be going into is three by three. I have just three three by threes. The first one is the Chi Yi Warrior W. It's um again it's a really solid cube. It's really nice. Um, turning's great. And again I already did lubricate this one up. Um, Yeah, if you can see the focus, I don't know if you can see that, but the center caps, the center caps are like, like cut off, but it's like not cut, it's like, it's just like that. Um, so yeah, it's a really good cube for beginners. The second cube which I have, second 3 by 3 is this. It is the Diane Zanchi. It's really solid cube again. It's um amazing. It's like one of the best cubes, I think. Um, yeah. Thicker shades are, well, just great. They're not too bright and not too, like, dull, if you know what I mean. Although, the yellow on it is, I, I would prefer, like, a brighter yellow a bit. Like, this one. If you know what I mean. Um, yeah, but overall, it's not a bad cube. Um... It's one of the higher end of prices, um, but yeah, you can also you can just get something like an MFTRS or an uh, Chi Yi Warrior W. Yeah, the last three by three which I have is this the MF three S or yes yeah, the MF three S, not the MF three RS because it doesn't have the um things and here are the there's like you know what I mean if you know what it looks like it it looks different doesn't it um 
It's my main 3x3. It's absolutely amazing again. I'm not the best at 3x3. Like, I'm, I'm literally terrible. Like, it's... Like, sometimes when I solve 3x3, sometimes I rage quit because it's just, like, so annoying to solve. Like, gotta find pyraminx easier than this. Like, I don't know how, like, I should have started on... Um, three by three. I started on pyraminx when I started cubing. I should have started on three by three because now, like, I can wrap my head around it. I can, I can do it. Obviously, I can solve it. I mean, it's not, it's not that hard. But um, yeah, just my times are literally ridiculous. Like, this is why I don't put times of three by three. I only do. I did. Oh no, no, no! Actually, one time. Sometimes I can get lucky with solves, um, because sometimes it just comes into my head. So let's say you got like PLL or you got like something like that, and then it's just easy. You just know the moves, and then you can do it. Then it's just it sometimes just automatically solves after you do that one sequence of notations. Uh, so yeah, it's actually really nice cubes my main but um yeah i don't think i'll be entering any competitions anytime soon i might but not at the moment when i get better see so, yeah, on to the next category of things is 4x4 four four. and this is my only 4x4 four four, so the mf4s hold on there we go it's an, it's an amazing cube but i don't know at all how to solve 4x4 four four. um yeah i'm kind of learning the centers and then how you do the outer edges but like i can't solve that at all i tried one time and i failed then i had to watch a youtube video and like it took me absolutely ages to do it but yeah it's um really smooth actually the core no, it's too tight to show you the core, but it's amazing cute. It's an amazing cube, honestly. Um, any beginners out there who want to try the higher higher um, layers of cube, I recommend just going up to 4x4. Four four. There's no point in going higher than 4x4 four four because you won't understand any of it. Um, I, I don't even understand 4x4, four four, so, you know. Yeah, that's the... Uh, MF4S by Moyu. The next cube which I have on the list is the my five by five, my only five by five, is the MF5S. Yeah, if you get in the pattern, um, MF2S, MF3S, MF4S, MF5S. Yeah, I like Moyu. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Yeah, you probably saw that in another video. But yeah, it came in a gift box. I got it as a present for my mum. It's <coughs> so <coughs> I'm a bit sick. But um, yeah, um, amazing cube. I have no I have no clue how to solve the five by five. It's ridiculous. It's a it's like it's actually it's physically a big cube. Compare it to a two by two. Well two by two aren't even that like look look at it. It's massive. Like you're trying to solve this one handed. Try solving that one handed. Yeah. You won't be able to do that. That's massive. It's like I think it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest. Um cube which I own. Yeah I don't I don't plan ever to go higher than five by five. I might just for collect for collecting purposes only go higher than five by five. But for solving never higher than five by five because if I start doing higher than five by five then like it'll be too hard for me. Um so yeah that's the like well le yeah i'll do all double series puzzles first so that's all the cube but well, 
Well, not all of the cube, but Rubik's cube puzzles. Um, the next one, the next category is pyraminx, and this is my only pyraminx, which I have. And time is running out, so I need to go a bit faster. Pyraminx is the best uh, cube which I'm good at. Like I get the fastest times on this. Like my fastest around like literally like eight seconds. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous for me. Yeah, this is the Shengshao Pyraminx. It's amazing. Came already pre lubricated. Um, yeah, we got quite a lot more cubes to come in. Come. Uh, Reviewing uh, the next pyramid, pyraminx puzzle, which whatever you like to say, um, one of the only puzzles which I don't know how to solve is this. It's the pyromorphinx. What are you saying? Here's solved. Nope. I right. So obviously, when you do the switcheroo move on pyromorphinx, if you own a pyromorphinx, you'll know what I mean. Like, you do the thing where you go like this, and then you twist these around, you know, a little thing, like, it's weird to explain, because Pyromorphinx is such a strange puzzle, like, look, look at, look at, look at the thing. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, that's, um, what range is that? Shang Shao, yeah. Shank shell and pretty much the same size as it. Yeah, pretty much identical, same brand and everything. Um, the next cubes which I'll be going into is cube and uh, yeah, I'm terrible, I'm terrible cube. But yeah, this is the only uh, scoop I own is the land land. It's um. Uh, yeah, you can just uh, judge by the sound. Um, yeah, but you know, when you when you get used to it, it's actually not that bad. I'm I'm actually gonna lubricate it today, like now, because it need it needs it. Like, the thing about a scoop isn't even that hard. If you know pyraminx, then you know scoop. So, well. I don't know if you know if you know two by two, then I think that you may understand. Cube is like yeah, it's a whole different concept. Now for all of these ones coming up are non WCA. So th this is the first shapeshifter, which I'll show you guys. Well, no, the Pyromorphinx is another shapeshifter, but this is the Axis Cube in white. Um, don't know how much this was. I got it from a trade with a friend. Um, brand is Chi. I want to say Chi. Yeah, I think it's Chi. You can have a look at the box. If you know this, but I think it is Chi because it. Hmm. Oh no. I don't want to get copyrighted for any of this stuff, so. No, it's a Kong John Mofang. So that's like Mofang Jiaoshi from from that like, kind of stuff, yeah. This is the. This is so, so weird. Oh no, we only have one more minute of recording time. Crap. But yeah, let's have it. I remember in this. This is a white puzzle, it's uh, shape shifting. It's like the weirdest puzzle I own. Yeah. I have no idea how to solve it. I scrambled it once, but I don't know if you caught, could call why I did scrambling. It's like messing it up. Next cube is mirror blocks. Um, great turning. I have no idea how to solve it. Uh, Sheng Shao brand. Like one of my favorite brands is Sheng Shao. Um, not much to really say about mirror blocks. And this is my last. No, but yeah, this is the Rubik Snake. We have 15 seconds more, so yeah, it's just the classic. Right, like, it's a Rubik. It's a, this is Rubik's cube. So guys, for you, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.